All right, this is the third section in Unit 5, 5.2, Trigonometry Integration or Trigonometric Integration. Uh, very easy stuff. Some of, well, some of it anyway. Um, okay, so the antiderivative of sine, like let's go back. Like, Okay, that's just going to be negative cosine of x, right, plus some c. Uh, hopefully you remember that. So the antiderivative of cosine is sine of x plus some c. Now it's going to get into some awesome stuff. So tangent, we don't, nothing, um, if I took the derivative of something, gives me straight up tangent. So I'm going to have to say that this is going to be equal to uh, sine over cosine, right? So that's the same thing, dx. Then I'm going to make my denominator, uh, u is equal to cosine, and then du is equal to negative sine dx. And therefore dx is equal to du over negative sine dx. Okay, and then the signs are going to cancel, fantastic, but the negative comes out front, so it's negative of the integral 1 over u du, which is equal to negative ln of the absolute value of u plus some c, which is equal to negative absolute value, uh, I'm sorry, ln of the absolute value of cosine of x, uh, oof, 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 plus some c. And there we go there. And so, because a tri some trigonometric functions don't actually have a nice um, uh, derivative or anti-derivative, anti so you're going to have to actually use u substitution. Same thing with cotangent x here. Uh, we're going to need to actually use probably u substitution. And so this is right uh, cosine over sine dx, and therefore I'm going to make my u my sine x. Okay, and then du is equal to uh, cosine x dx and thus dx is du over cosine x right so the cosine x is cancel so this is the integral of just 1 over u du there's no negative or anything so this is just the ln I'm going to skip some steps of the absolute value of sine x plus some c so that one's not too bad right uh, the next one might be a little bit more difficult because we have secant x secant is another one of those things where like, uh, well, I don't know actually what to do here. Um, so secant x, you can try to say, okay, well, this is 1 over cosine of x, right? And you can try to say u is cosine of x, but du is equal to negative sine, and, and that's not going to work out too nicely because then I'm going to have a sine x in there and stuff like that. So we might need to use some of our... Uh, trigonometric uh, properties here. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at like fantasy football right now. Okay, and some some trigonometric identities from last year is what I can do is I can take this integral and leave it as secant oops secant of x, but I'm going to multiply it by um, something that is the same thing. Okay, so I'm going to multiply it by secant of x plus tangent of x to the top and the bottom. Now you might be like, well, why am I doing this? Well, I'm doing this because I can, really, but I'm also going to do this because, um, remember, secant squared plus secant tan is going to be equal to something, right? Secant squared is equal to something, and secant tan is probably a nice little derivative of, oh, I don't know, maybe uh, secant, right? So I'm doing that for a reason. Um, you kind of pick and choose what you want to do. Uh, next one, when we get to cosecant over here, we'll do some other stuff, but... I don't expect you to like memorize this. I don't expect you to do this um, perfectly right now, especially these crazy trigonometric. Later on this year, when we get into integration by parts, uh, we're gonna do it differently. Okay, we're gonna pick secant and cos. We're gonna do a lot differently. So don't worry too much about this right now. But it's kind of a good process to kind of go through. Uh, so this is equal to the equal to the integral of secant squared x plus secant x tan x. Okay, over uh, secant x plus tan x, right? And that's all dx. Okay? Um, and so therefore, I'm going to say u is equal to my secant x plus tan x. And my du is equal to, what's the derivative of secant? Well, that's secant tan. Okay, and what's the derivative of tangent? That's, tan that's secant squared, right? So plus secant squared of x. Uh, and that's all dx. Okay, 
dx. And when I divide, I get dx is equal to basically all that stuff in your denominator, which is what the numerator is, so that's going to cancel. So this is equal to the integral of 1 over u du, which is equal to um, the natural log of the absolute value of secant of x plus the tangent of x plus some c. All right, so that was um, just kind of a crazy way of doing it, but that's the best way to do that one. All right, let's do number six there, cosecant. Uh, same thing, I'm going to split this up into saying it's really just uh, cosecant of x times, and then cosecant, oops, csc plus cotangent of x, and same thing. I'm going to multiply by the um, same thing here, just because it's one, right? Because... Once I find my u is equal to my denominator, I'm probably going to get some stuff to cancel out. So that is uh, cosecant of x squared plus uh, cosecant of x cotangent of x over cosecant of x plus cotangent of x. Oh, that's dx. Uh, I'm going to say u is equal to my denominator, okay? And then du, what's the derivative of cosecant of x? That's negative cosecant cotangent, negative cosecant cotangent of x. And then the derivative of cotangent squared is negative cosecant squared. Negative cosecant squared, and that's dx. And if you notice, it's the same as the top, but with a negative. So a negative is going to pull out, and then it's going to be 1 over u du. And then it's going to be negative ln of the absolute value of basically the the bottom function, right? So CSC uh, plus cotangent of X plus some C there. I do not expect you to know how to do this. Um, later on this year, you will learn a better way how to do it where we actually use different um, calculus methods. Uh, this is just manipulating with derivatives and manipulating trigonometric functions. It's pretty much all you're doing there. All right, um, <clears throat> so down here are just your basic ones that you need to know. Um, so this is just the negative cosine of u plus some c, right? Uh, this is negative the ln. I don't expect you to like memorize all of these because it's not that big of a deal again right now. Plus some c. Secant, remember this is the ln of the absolute value of secant of u plus tangent of u plus some c. Secant u tan u, that's just secant, right? Secant u plus c. Uh, cosecant u cotangent u is just negative cosecant u plus some c. And then over here, that's just sine of u plus some c. Uh, cotangent of u is the ln of the absolute value of sine of u plus some c. Kind of very similar to tangent, right? Cotangent. Um, cosecant, this was the crazy one, ln, negative ln of the absolute value of csc. Uh, u plus cotangent of u plus some c. The derivative or antiderivative of secant squared is just tangent u, right? Tangent of u plus c. And then cosecant squared is just negative cotangent. And that's all stuff we should have known from the trig derivatives, uh, but now we're going backwards in integration. All right, let's go down to the last page here. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Uh, this one here, I am going to make... Um, u my tangent, okay, u is equal to tangent of x, and then therefore du is equal to secant squared of x dx, and then when I solve this, secant squareds are going to cancel, so I get 1 over u du, right, and so that's just the ln of the absolute value of tangent of x plus some c, so that one's pretty easy, um, that's not too bad. Uh, this one, we have to know a couple things, uh, if we actually do look at this here, okay, I know that that should be equal to secant squared. We know a, pig, a Pythagorean identity is 1 plus tangent squared is equal to secant squared of x. So that's something we need to know. Looks like sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. Same thing here. This is another Pythagorean identity. And thus, this is the same as saying the square root of secant squared of x dx, which is the same thing as saying it's the um, integral of secant of just x because the squared and the square root, right, cancel. And that's one of our identities from up, to, uh, from up top, which is the, um, the ln of the absolute value of secant of x plus tangent of x 
plus some C. And again, I don't expect you to memorize those. It's not that big of a deal to do that, but it's still nice to know. Uh, the cosecant of 4x over here, I am going to make the inside piece of that, the u, and then du is equal to 4dx. And then because I have the 1 fourth du is equal to dx, I'm going to bring this 1 fourth out. Okay, so it's 1 fourth times the integral of cosecant of u du. And this is one of our kind of special ones that we just talked about. Uh, that's going to be a negative 1 fourth times the natural log of the absolute value of csc u plus cotangent of u and then plus some c, but u in this case is 4x, right? So it's negative 1 fourth times the natural log of csc of 4x plus the cotangent of 4x plus some c, okay? Again, I don't expect you to memorize it. It's not a big deal. All right. Average value of a function, okay? We talked about this, I believe, in the last unit. Um, average value is 1 over b minus a from a to b of the function uh, f of x dx, right? And so we're going to say, okay, from 0 to pi over 4, so it's from pi over 4 minus 0, that's just pi over 4, okay? From 0 to pi over 4 of, just in this case, it's tangent of x dx. Okay, we know that the antiderivative of tangent of x is negative negative or ln of the absolute value of cotan cosine of x, I'm sorry. So this is going to be uh, 4 over pi, okay, once I flip it. But because this is negative, all right, it's negative of the ln of, um, let's see, how do I want to do this? I'll do, that's uh, right here, of cosine of x, and all of this is from 0 to pi over 4. Okay, so then therefore I get negative 4 over pi times the ln of the absolute value of cosine of pi over 4. What's cosine of pi over 4? That's root 2 over 2, okay, which I don't really need absolute values because that is, you know, positive. Um, minus uh, the ln of cosine of 0 is 1, and ln of 1 is 0, so minus 0, okay. So that's equal to just negative 4 times the ln of uh, root 2 over 2 and all of that's over pi. So that's one way we can write it. We can write it different ways but that's fine right there. Okay, Hopefully you understood the average value from the last unit because we're applying it again. Alright, that's it for this video for this section. On to the next one. Deuces.